Hi friends! I have a haul, um, a cumulative haul. I've been meaning to post a haul for like the past few weeks. I've been putting it off and then I go shopping again. So um, let's just get into it. Okay, let's start with Amazon. I got an Amazon card and I was like, yes! So I have beads, some wooden beads with um, gold, silver, and some buffalo check. I'm so excited about this for the holidays. We've got some green, red, and then the white. Love these. These are gonna be so much fun to work with for the holidays. So this is the full pack. Really cute for the holidays. Um, 150 pieces. And I also picked up a 12 pack of 12 inch wood rounds. So these are, um, these were 11 dollars for 12, so it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. I will have to put, you know, a hole in them um, if I want to hang them that way, but cheaper than Dollar Tree. I think they're about the same thickness, but I love it. I mean, it was free because I got the gift card for free. And I also grabbed some molds for clay. This is like a buckle. And this is like um, corner pieces for like a book or like maybe like a treasure chest, like the binding part. And then I got locks and keys. These are gonna be so cute for like shabby chic fun type DIYs. And a resin kit. I got a starter resin kit. Oh my goodness. Um, it's an epoxy resin kit. Uh, Self-leveling, crystal clear, resist yellowing, 40 minute work time, non-flammable, low odor. So the um, this is the activator I think is what it's called and uh, it's just a little beginner's kit because I didn't want to go too big just starting out so I figured I'd start small so yeah the epoxy um, A and B and then it comes with the little cups this um, little powders glitter powders dried flowers keychains and like little earring um, hangers and jump rings mixing stones um, a orb form different little forms to make um, like earrings and little pieces of jewelry. So it's a nice little beginner set. Different shapes. Lots of different shapes, so. That'll be fun to experiment with some little start small and then I'll move on to something bigger. And oh, got more stuff in here. And uh, metallic flakes, silver, gold, and like a rose gold bronzy color. Um, what is it? 
219 piece epoxy jewelry resin. Oh, I have another, uh, another mold for like some um, edging, like Baroque type molds for clay. And my final thing from Amazon was a uh, glass tile, mirror tile, the self-adhesive mirror tiles for some glam DIYs. Self-adhesive back. This was six sheets. And next, Family Dollar. I found this beautiful wooden topiary, three dollars. Four stack, isn't that beautiful? love it. I'm definitely going to be using this in an upcoming video for fall. It has a really nice thickness for $3. So Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are somehow affiliated. I've noticed that a lot of the same items that Dollar Tree has, they will have them in Family Dollar, but they will be just a dollar. And we don't have a Dollar Tree Plus and some things that I've seen other crafters haul from a Dollar Tree Plus larger items I will see them in family dollar for like three dollars so that's what we have here but I am loving this four stack and that will be so beautiful once I get that DIY now they also had their fourth of July stuff 75% off so I grabbed a couple of these galvanized signs all these were less than a dollar, it's like 75 cents. Two of these, it's chipboard, but it's got a nice thickness to it. And then the letters I can take and, you know, reuse after I repaint these. So for 75 cents, I thought these were some really nice faux um, wood signs and they had this camper this is a really nice size camper so this will be nice to make over maybe for Christmas maybe for fall I don't know maybe I'll fit it for next summer but like I said they were all less than a dollar so it's a really good deal okay next Hobby Lobby in the clearance area I found this trunk it's wooden. This was um, originally $37.99, marked down to $9.49. I've been looking for a trunk to DIY and the unfinished wood ones that they had were like $40. So when I found this in the clearance, I was like, oh, that's perfect. Just repaint it. Leather straps. So I think this will be a really nice um, either French country or a shabby chic type look for a makeover, but it's definitely not going to stay green. I found uh, some florals, some beautiful uh, small roses. I love roses. A couple bunches of these little tiny flowers. I really love these little, I think they're little peonies. And um, more wooden beads, these alphabet beads. These were such a good deal because I found a single strand of these at Joanne Fabric and I think I paid $2 and these were um, $3.99 and actually I think these came out to like $1.50. 
So this was an excellent deal and there are 90 beads in here and they're all alphabet. So this would be a really cute, would uh, make a really cute garland. Um, sewing buttons, these beautiful faceted briolettes. It's kind of glam, but these are buttons. I got some beading, some little iridescent beads for flat back beads for some glam stuff that I'm, I'm thinking of doing. And I found these little buttons, Christmas lights. I was really looking for, these were $2.99. Uh, there's 10 pieces in here. I was looking for the nativity buttons and I couldn't find those, but I found these. So speaking of nativity, I found also a beautiful wooden cutout nativity, um, $3.99 with the hanger. I just love it. I'm obsessed with nativity. So this will be a really gorgeous holiday DIY, um, more wood pile, a teardrop, ovals, and circles. There are 60 pieces in here. Clearance ribbon, um, this was a spring item, um, originally $5.99, I think, I think this maybe came out to a dollar, a dollar fifty, but it's, um, two and a half inches by six yards a beautiful rose pattern gorgeous perfect for shabby chic i love the shabby chic and i also found these little reindeer buttons so whenever i can find a little christmas i pick it i like to pick it up these are flat back six pieces uh 2.99 now these aren't buttons they're just flat backs for you know hot glowing or glowing or something. Um, and also in the spring, tiny porcelain teacup and teapot. Perfect for a tear tray. This these were a uh, dollar. They might have been less than a dollar. I think they might have been like either 50 or 75 cents. Spring was like marked down to like rock bottom. And they're actually food safe, microwave safe, and dishwasher safe, but so cute. Such a perfect little set for a tear tray. And final thing, oh, paper. Paper, paper, paper. I found some beautiful paper at Hobby Lobby. I love this print. Um, I had this previously in a paper pack that I got from Hobby Lobby, so I wanted to pick up some more of that. And um, I thought this was really beautiful. I have something similar from a paper pack, so I got some extra. And I, uh, what do I have? Several sheets of this. I love this. Looks like, um, it's just like cursive writing. But to me, I'm like, it looks kind of like love notes like i could use this for like some shabby chic diy so i got quite a bit of that and some postage printed paper beautiful postage stamps on there um, another postage type just in a different color just mainly, you know, the tan and the black. I thought that was so pretty. And these are all like 69 cents. And then this family tree. I thought that was really awesome. 69 cents. The smallest one, 59 cents. These smaller ones are only 59 cents. And then I got a Christmas paper pack. Um, it's called Vintage Christmas, $9.99, 60 sheets. But I didn't pay $9.99. They had the um, percentage off the 40% off. 15 designs, and there's four sheets of each design.
Okay, so last but not least, Dollar Tree. I initially went just for sunflowers because I wanted more white sunflowers and um, I found my sunflowers. <laughs> I found these beautiful off-white and the lighter tone of the summer sunflowers. And I grabbed two bunches of these off-white sunflowers and I found some small ones. These little ones. I thought these were really pretty. So I got my sunflowers and I grabbed a smaller bunch of the gold. Um, I also found olive berries. So I just grabbed two of these. Um, blossom fern. I thought that was pretty. It's a really pretty little two-tone or actually three-tone flower. Green, a little pink, and a little white. And it has couple sprigs of fern on there. I love these maple leaves. So I grabbed another one of these. I have a couple of these already. I like this lighter color and then I love this. I think these together are really pretty. And yarn. Um, this is plush. Uh, 106 yards. I found two colors. So soft. Oh my goodness. Uh, bamboo rings. Only found one. These are like so popular. There was only one. So I grabbed this one. I finally found these little wooden pieces. Um, it doesn't say how many there are, but I found these two variety. These will be really cute embellishments. Couple bags of this um, like diamond like vase filler. It's kind of glammy. I have a couple of those. Uh, black and white letter tiles leather white leather faux leather it's 11.75 inches by 20 inches it says it's waterproof waterproof effect and a soft peel soft feel easy to cut with scissors um widely used perfect for sewing crafts accessories jewelry and more I found this in a couple of colors. I have some other, other. Um, I have the blue and the tan, I believe. And good old fashioned three pack of the metal words. Hey, fabric. Love the Dollar Tree fabric. So I found this cute. This looks like so much of a fall type color. Beautiful plaid. And of course, I found some summer stuff. Nice lemons. Lemons and melons. All of these, I believe they're the same. 18 by 21 inches. Copper. I finally found some copper metal plaques. Doesn't come with a string. It has holes on each corner, but there's no hanger. Beautiful um, two pack of hammered metal copper tags. This comes with a string. They have it in black as well found a couple more of these bottle caps. I love these. Love, love, love. And a home sign. Has a monstera leaf, but I'll make this over. This, it won't stay like that. And I found this. I like the size of these pumpkins. So three pumpkins, two footballs. 
Okay. Oh, window cleaners. Really pretty. Scoring tool. A couple of wooden fall shapes. Pumpkin, a leaf, a leather. The faux leather words, blessed and grateful. Four piece. Four piece set. A couple of rub-on transfers. No, it's only one. Um, Halloween. And also a four pack of glass bottles. They're giving Target a run for their money, the dollar spot with these, because Target had a bunch of these last year. This really cute hanging, like, metal envelope. I thought this was so adorable. I love that autumn and the little wreath. I thought that was just so pretty. And this happy fall. I love the colors of the pumpkins on this. It's on the hanger. Metal. Wooden leaves. Um, leather pumpkins they had besides this gray they had orange and um, a brown they didn't have white leather they had like the white um, plush and wool wood stems this is a seven ounce bag of wood stems they had beautiful ceramic, the unpainted ceramic. So I have uh, Mr. Owl and his top hat. These pumpkins are so pretty. They're a really nice size. You know, it's like a handful. Beautiful pumpkin. Look at those leaves. I just bought these today. <laughs> this gourd, same thing. Beautiful details with the leaves on there. Love it. a scarecrow that was the last thing so these will be fun to customize and mr scarecrow hey super cute pie signs gather and give thanks whipped cream on top of the pie glass stickers this is a three piece love infinity kiss and then one for day of the dead sugar skull these um, are magic on stickers they have like a raised texture on there kind of see it really beautiful roses beautiful for shabby chic uh, farmers market calendar for 2023 this is the only one I liked so that's why this is the only one I picked up they have several different ones
They had name brand cosmetics. I found um, Maybelline foundation stick in the color that actually looks like it would match my skin. They had some name brand from Sally's Beauty China Glaze fingernail polish. These definitely cost more than $1.25 at Sally's. So I was very happy to find these because I do my own manicures. And they had Sally Hansen um, top coats. Experiment with these. And more wood pieces for Halloween, jack-o'-lantern, the witch's hat or scarecrow hat apples i'm gonna do some more apple diys these really cute cupcake picks there's 20 pieces the tiny little pumpkins 20 little wooden pumpkins so good deal foam roses and halloween colors baker's twine this is 20 yards i got the black and white more leather, some black leather. It has a nice texture. It really looks like, like the texture really looks like, like leather. Um, this is vinyl paper, but it's really short. I like the print. This floral looks very pretty. This is uh, four and a half inches by 48 inches, this roll but it's such a pretty pattern. So I don't have a cutting machine, but I like to use this instead of painting. Sometimes I'll wrap things um, like planters or, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll cut out some letters with this since it's kind of short, but really pretty pattern. Some wooden laser cut owls. These are six piece. Um, a welcome, this copper welcome. And these poster stickers and the donut. How cute is that? So cute. There's 65 stickers. So I'll probably use this at Christmas time. Really cute. Okay, more fabric. This is a gnome with a wreath and ice skates. Presents, buffalo check, um, the red truck with Christmas trees in the back, trees in the back. Oh, no, it's the red car. Oh, even better. I love it. It's the red car. That's so cool. The Woody Wagon. Like old fashioned car from like um, a Christmas story. And this is just the truck. That's what I got mixed up. This one is just the truck. Just the truck. Um, patch, a beautiful sunflower patch, iron on patch. The wood beads, these are 125 count and it looks like three different sizes. These are new to me. Maybe they've been at your stores, but I think this is so beautiful. I love the faux enamel look and they have it on both sides. Flower Market 1953 and the black around the rim. And I got the shorter one too, the shorty. This is like so shabby chic. I love this pink flowering garden with the black and nail full and nail around the edging. So pretty. Okay, that's gonna do it for me.
I really should do hauls like after each shopping trip. <laughs> I've been just letting this stuff pile up, but I have to get this put away and get started on some more fall DIYs. Thanks so much for watching this haul video. I appreciate you. God bless.